Yeah, he's got to get to the top. The top's going to have the biggest energy here. Mm -hmm. 21's going to come with a huge shove. They are two and three wide behind him. Crossover. Here he That's comes. Austin Hill on oh, the 21. Big crash. Up and over. Caution is out. That's Myatt Snyder. Looks like he's moving around, winning it down. That's a good sign. I believe Austin Hill's got this. And the leader, Austin Hill. But keep this in mind. We freeze the field when the caution comes out on the final lap. So NASCAR will have to review to determine who was leading when the caution came out. And, and we'll do everything we can, all the video we have available, to make sure who was leading. Was it the 21 or 16? First start in his rookie season. It's Austin Hill who gets it done at Daytona, and here's what happened behind him. That's just a bad scenario. Uh, once you get turned around backwards, if he doesn't get hit in the front end, it probably doesn't get airborne, but it's just you got the other car wedging underneath the front to, to get the lift there. But it's great to see, like Chad talked about, the, the safety innovations of these cars. You know, to, to see Mike just walk right out, that's a, a great sign. And I would be anxious to see how close it was at the time of caution because look right here it looks like the 16's out front who it had to be really close yep. the caution wasn't out at that point when they left our screen so he was clearly ahead by the time he left the bottom of your monitors on television he's flanked off that right hand side Come off the corner, the car got light exactly like I was talking about. Man, it went over too. I was right. Dang it. A lot of good cars. Denny Hamlin with a spin there. Not sure how much damage. Kyle Busch, 24 of William Byron. They're both going to get swept up in this. Oh. Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell gets into Burton. And that's a long slide on the asphalt into the safer barrier, hard for Byron. Half in front, tight out the back, tight, tight in front, tight in front, all the way, wrecking here, wrecking, 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 wrecking. Oh, man. Just roll under if you can, just lock it down, let them come under you. I don't think Denny's got, never mind. I almost said he didn't have it much damage, but he definitely has a lot. Oh! oh Suarez! Briscoe got him Briscoe. into the back of Suarez. And he gets pounded. Dang it. Oh! And push him upside over. down. I think he hooked a drain. There's uh, the window net released, and Chris Busher is seen moving inside the car. The AMR safety team is right there to his aid. And Daniel Suarez climbs out. He had a great race going tonight. And Daniel Suarez in the 99, down on the inside, inside of Briscoe. You see Suarez come up. Just wasn't clear. Caught the 14, gets sideways, and here comes the impact. Hard hit. You see... Him spinning. The more you look at that, the whole right front suspension was broke off. I think it rolled underneath the car, and that's what flipped the car. The upper A-frame was broke. The whole right front suspension dug in. That was Todd Gillel and tried to go high and there just didn't see. have enough room. See, that, that right front wheel dug underneath the car and that's what dug in and caused it to start flipping violent violent crash now let's uh, ride along with daniel
course, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Now up and over goes to 27. So Jeff Burton sliding on top. Nobody's going to get you. All right, just hold tight right here. This will take a minute here. You all good there? Yeah, man. Did all I could there. It's Jeff Burton's radio. Turn four. Okay, gets very, very loose. Just really spins out. Loses control, probably had very little side force, too wide, sideways. Now it's white smoke. No one can see. The 48 of Stenhouse, the 27 sees it. He goes as far left as he can. He has a choice. Oh. Am I either going to hit the end of pit wall or stay on the racetrack? And he just launches off the 48 upside down. And then this long slide had to feel like forever. I'm not going to know what's better, sliding or tumbling. I'm going to say sliding if he's fine, but... Yeah, but watch how close Jeb was to the end of this pit wall. He has a split decision, pit road or not. The yellow barrels are not a good option. Yeah, he made, ugh, he made the right decision not to try to turn left there at the last moment. Just a no-win situation for Jeb. And the spotter coming on, asking him if he's okay, and also telling him no one's going to hit you. That would be the other thing that a driver would fear is he's in such a vulnerable position. So now the spin, and look at all the smoke. So you want to say, all right, here's where I want to go, but you're just trying to miss him. And then it happens that quick. I mean, that decision has to be made in milliseconds. That's why it's your, but I love slow motion replays shows us the violence. Like this will show just how much that car launches in the air. Now look at this hit right here. He lands basically on the driver's side door, tumbles onto the A-post, that shows how violent it is, but there's nothing like a full-speed replay to show you Jeb's decision-making. It is right now, left or right. 